All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country. In the last video, we put together that 28 ton wood splitter. I'll throw a link up there or uh, up there or something if you're interested in seeing that video. Today, we're gonna pull out the uh, Kubota KX040. We're gonna pull a big tree, well, big for my property, out of the tree line. We're gonna cut it up, we're gonna split some wood, we're gonna put that thing to work. So, if that's what you're here for, stick around, let's do it. Been a minute since I've used the excavator. Let's grease it up. What are you doing? You getting that thing ready to go or what? This thing's going camping for four or five days. Oh, look at all the green crap. No? What are you greasing? Excavator. No. Excavateur. That's French for excavator. Well, it probably will be crummy later on. You know what it's like around here, you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Okay. Do you ever really fix a Volkswagen? Yeah, not really. So many nipples. <laughs> never, thought, never thought that would be upsetting to me. If you're watching, do you want to start this thing and lower, lower that for me? It's probably locked. <laughs> lower to boom and now show you some tings, huh? I haven't used this girl in so long, I don't know how to start it. It's been a minute. Of course, of course, I've already checked the oil and everything in the engine compartment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah. Just don't hit Jen's camper. What am I doing? I need you to, I need, there's grease nipples up here that I need down. So just put your secondary boom out and then lower the whole thing. Keep doing the same two movements to bring everything down for me. It will do it on its own, but it won't actually actively regen unless you have the machine running full revs, I think. Somebody will correct me about that, but I don't like reading instruction manuals too much. You can always see where the grease is going to be coming out when you're pumping, so watch. You see it coming out anywhere? Nope. Oh, yeah. Uh, far side. Is it dirty or clean? Dirty. Yeah, it's coming out both sides. It's starting to come out clean at the top. Still dirty. So that's good enough for me then. As soon as you like, really, you just want to make sure there's some in there. Um, and then this one up here as well. I think this is my last one at the top. Let me know. Yeah, it's coming out. I don't know how it's coming out because I can't tell because of the sun, but it's coming out. Good enough. So anywhere anything moves on this machine, there's a grease nipple. So what we're doing today, that's where the one camper sat all winter right there at that... Uh, electrical connection area. I dropped one, two, three, maybe four trees in there before the winter because they were looking kind of crummy and I didn't want them to fall on the camper. So we're gonna pull those out of there with the uh, Mini X, at least one of them anyways. Cut it up today, uh, get the wood splitter running and we'll split some of that wood up so that uh, dad can take some wood camping with him. It, the lock and lube is really good most of the time to be honest, but every once in a while Got a you can't get the damn thing in there. gonna leave that leg down new 28 ton wood splitter with our uh, what is a Honda CX 200 Honda GX 200 motor the uh, worst tractor adapter on the planet and uh, we'll grab the Kubota KX 040 and start yanking a couple of these trees out I'm gonna need some straps Fuel. Got enough. Enough for now, anyway. Chain's tight enough. Never drop start a chainsaw, folks. Hey. 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 
There's one or two videos out there I have to catch up on, but if I'm being honest, guys, I don't think it's going to happen. My goodness. It'll be interesting to see how big the top of this tree is when I pull it out. Oh yeah, twisted right up in there amongst all those cedar trees. That'll be fun. Once Julie remembers how to drive this thing, she'll be over here momentarily. Maybe you and I should go on coffee break. You're gonna have to turn that on. That's a that's an electro hydraulic circuit that gets turned on from the computer. Oh, you can't hear me? I'm doing the thing I hate when somebody yells at me when I'm next to a piece of machinery. Still not sure what I think about that regen system on that stupid thing. If I'd have gone with the KX033, I would not have had that issue, but well, I wanted the bigger one. Get all the mice crap out of them. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be square. Nobody likes a square. This is where you remember to stand really close to it so that if the strap breaks, you can catch the tree. Nailed it. About your line. That's okay, if it catches, just stop and we'll figure it out. Perfect. Okay, we'll stop there. Nice job. So we'll get her to move the machine around to this side and she can pick it up with the thumb and the bucket. And then, just cut it off. And then we'll swing it around over the grass to keep the clip, to keep the sawdust from the chainsaw on the grass. And then we can split whatever you want. It's an awesome machine. She might be too far away to grab it, but we'll see. Nobody's a perfect operator of this thing yet, that's for sure. Now, hopefully she, when she spins it, it's not gonna clean us out. You really gotta be aware of your surroundings. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut, do some more trimming at that end anyway, so. <laughs>
love it. Now I get the hell out of the way. She's coming around. You are a dog with a long stick in its mouth. So you can swing it around if you can. Just be careful. We'll do our cutting over the edge of the grass here. Um, you want to grass? Yeah. If you can, just don't. Whatever side, whatever direction you think is going to be easiest for you to get it there. Yeah, just ro either rotate the whole machine or do your offset boom, whatever you need to. As she closes the window and stops listening to me. I'm picky like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Don't go too low. I might have to bend over. little chainsaw. MS-261, upgraded bar, does the trick. All this green crap needs oil changes again. Don't want to work on John Deere's. Don't want to work on anything. Oh, getting thirsty, boys. Oh, oh I guess I could put this away. She'll yell at me. Watch. Get out of my excavator. Oh, bless you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh, she left the keys. Rookie mistake.
skid, skid. If I was a skid, where would I be? Oh, oh there's a perfectly good skid. A bunch of friggin' tires on it. Oh, I can make that work. Totally. A sheet of plywood. Gold. Don't bring strange wood to a park that's 50 kilometers away. It could be an invasive species. Freaking birds fly farther than that. Idiots. Yeah. The mega garden has been planted. My sister planted everything. She's the garden curator. Yeah, she's got some plants up. Before. Things are happening? Things are, yeah. Can we eat them yet? Mm. Basil, marigolds. Things. Oh my God, look at this one. Oh well, yeah, she bought that one from, a, one from a garden center. I did. You bought that one from a garden center. Way Sorry. to ruin it. I'm not down here all the time. I don't way know what's to, going on. Way to ruin it. I was gonna say, oh my God, look how giant it is already. Yeah. Oh, it is those ones. Uh, I think she planted, it's doing fine. Uh, Come on. Roma. Roma, well that's a cherry tomato plant. So that'd be its cousin right there. And that one. So she wasn't sure if any of them would take. And that looks like another one right there. Looks like they're taken. All right, guys, there you have it. Second video in the books after my triumphant return. Maybe we'll do a nice garden video one of these days. For those of you that are interested, I will uh, try to drag my sister up here. She's the garden curator. She can tell you what all that stuff is. To me, it's just food. And uh, we can go over it and have a look, see what we have growing this year. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.